Hi guys, Kylie here with latest Wii U games and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Cave on the Nintendo Wii U. So it's time we had a little boat ride. So get your characters to sit in the boat and get the third character to push the boat into the water and then jump on for the ride. Hey, anyone know any sea shanties? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Oh, that's more a bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. 99 bottles of rum on the wall, 99 bottles of rum. <laughs> Loads of sharks in the water there. Good thing we're not staying on the water too long. I'm rescued. Rescued? Shut up. After years on this blasted island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to go collect my stuff and get my beloved dog Spanky so we can skedaddle. Beloved dog. Shut up. <laughs> well, from stuck in a cave to marooned on an island stuck in a cave, things aren't exactly looking up for our friends now, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> so now just take one of your characters and go exploring. So you'll notice that there's a valve there and some water. So the idea of this puzzle is you need to get the boat from one end of the island to the other. So if you just climb up the ladder and head upwards. Start collecting these pipes along the way because you're going to need those. Head up to where the hermit lives. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout. And I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue! Shut up. I'm not sure how to break it to that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends that they move the boat across the island very quietly? Quietly? Shut up! So there's another piece of story here. For the twins. Okay, so now remember where these pipes are guys, because there's one up there. By the hermit, so you're going to need these later. Shut up! Just keep heading all the way right for now. You'll notice you can't climb that cliff, so you actually need to head back up to where the hermit lives and push that blue box down, which will then mean you can move that and climb up that cliff on the right side. Night to F6. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout, and I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue! Shut up! Shut up! Now you can climb up that cliff. Now, those pirate flags are actually important, guys. You need to remember where those are, because you're going to need two of your characters to pull the ones up top. And then there's one actually down below underground, so you're going to need all three characters for that bit. Head all the way to the right and find another blue box or crate that you can move, and you need to push this left. which once again will allow you to climb up. Now this is where you need to get the pipes guys, so start using your characters. Um, you need the straight one to slot it into the first empty position. Now you'll notice there's a water valve, so if you give that a bit of a turn, it actually does nothing at the beginning because you still need to connect more pipes to allow the water to flow through the pipes. So if you do a bit more exploring, heading left, jump up to the wooden platform and climb the rope, you'll see that there's a gap 
there on the right side. So if you go and collect the next piece of pipe and slot it in there. And there's one more pipe that you need to get, guys, if you climb the ladders. Pick up that piece of story segment and then there's a pipe on the right hand side. Now this one's a bit annoying to pick up so I did edit here because it kept, every time I tried to pick it up the story kept popping back on the screen so that was irritating. Now if you head all the way left with this second bit of pipe now, just keep going. There is a story segment for the monk there. It might be different for you guys where these story segments are though because apparently they're randomised so there we go now all the pipes are connected now so the water should be able to flow freely so if you climb down the ladders and head towards the valve on the left you'll see here that there's a switch down below you can't actually pull this switch until the water is emptied from this section so move all the way to the left where that valve was and give it a turn which will then fill up the water on the left hand side so that means you can now go and get the boat and pull it over to the centre of the island so go and do that now So the boat will just drift over to the other side on its own accord and then just grab the edge of the boat and lift it up and just keep dragging it across guys. And then push it onto the water on the right hand side. Now this is where we need to do something about this water that's filled up here because we need to access that switch. So if you switch back to another character you'll notice that that valve will work now so that steam will lift the air balloon. Now that's going to come in handy a bit later so remember that guys. So if we carry on and do a bit of exploring in the direction that the monk just head, we want to head down now, down the first set of ladders that you come across and you'll see that there's some rocks there that can be exploded. Now this is where the pirate flags come in handy, so you want to get all three characters to pull on the pirate flags. Remember there's two up top and there's one underground in the pirate cave. So once you've pulled all the flags the door will open which will give you access to the barrels. So this bit is a bit tricky guys, it took me a few times. What you want to do is you only have three barrels. You want to first push one barrel to the furthest part of the cave, but don't push it too far otherwise the fuse will light. So just push it up this little ledge there and then get another barrel and you want to try and space them out evenly so that the explosions will have a ripple effect and then they will all explode. Now you want the second barrel to kind of be near, quite near the crack. So just past the first set of what looks like pile of rocks. Now if you just remember an upside down V, and try and get the third barrel just on the edge of that um, bronze like great thing. So if you pull this barrel back now, it will ignite the fuse and just let go and it will roll down. They need to be about evenly spaced, so that's what it needs to look like. And then it will explode and the water will empty. So now you need to head back to where that switch is now accessible. you'll see that the water has been emptied. 
So just head up and around with one of your characters. And just drop down, pull the lever. And now you can pull the boat further across. Now you want to take the boat all the way to where that balloon is. And then you want to turn the valve and it will lift the boat up to the top of the island. The steam will make the balloon rise. Now get one of your characters to head to where the boat has come up in the balloon and push the boat all the way to the right and it will slide to the edge of the island. Hooray! I'm finally getting off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble right here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T which rhymes with P which stands for... Hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. Ha. There. Much better. You're really taking your sweet time, aren't you? So, obviously there's not enough room for the Hermit as well. So if you remember back down in the pirate cave, there's a pile of bones. You want to pick up one of the bones from the pile with one of your characters. Now... The bone will come in handy. What you want to do is you want to head all the way back up top, carrying the bone. And you need to head to where the hermit's house was, or is rather, um, where the dog lives. You can do these two things I'm, that I'm about to tell you in any order, really. But I just end up dropping the bone off here. And then go and pick up the box of crackers. And what you want to do is you want to head back up and head all the way to the left to the parrot. Get the parrot's attention with the crackers. The parrot will land on your shoulder. You don't need the crackers now, so you can drop those. Head back to where you left the bone. Now, with the parrot, the parrot will actually fly away from you if you fall from a high height or if you swim through water. So don't do either of those and the parrot should stay with you. Use the bone on the dog. And the parrot will mimic the dog's yapping. Now, if you head back to where the hermit is, the parrot will make the dog noises, which will make the hermit realise he's left his precious dog behind, which will then free up room on the boat. I forgot my dog! You wait here and I'll be back in a flash. Don't leave without us! Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. So all your characters will come along now and then just shove off and off you go. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. What lovely scenery. More sharks in the background there. And you're on 
Dynamo! They love to make you fall in this game, that's for sure. Now what you've done here is you've basically ended up right back from where you started. Well, back at the cave entrance. Long enough. I was going to send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty-sized key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Okay guys, so I'm having to do a bit of a filler here because my Ava Media recording device messed up. I filmed the final section of this Let's Play, so there was originally supposed to be an episode 9, but when I hit save, my Ava Media device just kept saying saving. Now, it said this for about 40 minutes, so it was at that point in time I realised my device had crashed. Um, nothing I was doing was making it respond, so I actually had to remove the power plug. And then, of course, when I booted up my Ava Media again, I had lost the last episode that I had recorded. So, obviously, that really annoyed me, and I'm really, really disappointed. Um, I'm really, really sorry about that, guys, but, of course, there's nothing I can do. As you know, the cave does auto-save, so, of course, it had auto-saved after the credits, so I couldn't even backtrack and show you guys that section um, I would have to start the game again, which obviously is a no-go after all these hours of play I've put in. So what I will say, guys, is that if I do do another playthrough of this off-camera, I will try and record the ending for you guys, even if it is with different characters. But don't quote me on that. But I will fill you guys in on what happens. So basically, we arrive back in at the beginning where we have to pick up free souvenirs for the gift shop once more we have to take the novelty sized key head all the way to the left and open the um, employees back entrance then we keep going all the way left and we head down it's pretty straightforward really there's no real puzzles to solve you've just got to collect three of the items so I don't know if these three items are different depending on who you've played the game with. But for me, I had to pick up a lump of gold from the miner. Then I had to pick up the dog from the hermit. And then I picked up like a statue, which I'm guessing is from the monk's area. And then basically with each character holding a item, you need to head back up to where the shop is and swap those in. And then each of your characters gets their desired item. So the knight gets the Excalibur sword, the twins get the rat poison, and the monk, I think he gets some kind of statue. And then once each character has got those, you need to head all the way to the right and head up the ladders. And then when you reach the top of the ladders, you get two more story segments for each of your chosen characters. And then pretty much once you've done that with all three of your characters, the cave does a little narration. He basically just says that he doesn't know how this journey has affected the characters or if they've learned their lessons. And that's about it really. And then the credits roll. So you didn't really miss anything too exciting. But I'm really sorry for anyone who did want to see the ending. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. But regardless, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. I've quite enjoyed the cave. I found it really interesting. I've enjoyed the narration from the cave himself. He's quite funny. I've enjoyed the quirky puzzles. I like that there's also unique puzzles for each character and there are some repeated puzzles as well. It's pretty cool. So it is a game that you can play through a few times as well. So, probably score out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Um, no particular reason why I've given it an 8, other than that I'm not too good at puzzle games, so I probably didn't enjoy it as much as other people would have done. But, other than that, I recommend getting this game as a cheap game to play, and it does have good replay value. 
So once again guys, I'm sorry that I've had to do this fill-in. I hope you can forgive me and it hasn't annoyed you too much. And I hope you guys continue to support this joint channel. So you have been watching Kylie with latest Wii U games. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.